Let's review the queen of women's fragrances and of course I'm talking about Parfums de Mali's Delina. Hey what's going on? Hunter here and welcome back to my channel. And if you are new, what I do is I make fragrance related content. So if you love fragrances, go ahead and hit the subscribe button down below and also make sure to follow my fragrance Instagram page, but that is correct. Today we're reviewing one of the most hyped up popular fragrances for women, of course, especially when it comes to niche perfumery, and that is obviously the original Delina. Now, I am so excited to be reviewing this fragrance because, believe it or not, this is actually the first fragrance that I've reviewed on my channel this far that is completely targeted towards women. So I thought no better way to kick it off than with Delina. And also leave a comment down below if you're actually a woman watching this video and you wanna see me review more women's fragrances in the future because I just think it'd be a good idea to actually mix it up, review some men's fragrances and also women's fragrances as well. So just let me know in a comment down below. So let's go over some information about Delina. So this fragrance was launched back in 2017. For the retail price and the only size they come in is the 75 ml bottle it's going to actually run you 335 dollars which is obviously pretty hefty but at the end of the day this is niche perfumery and it does actually get pretty expensive even though you can actually find these on discounters as well the concentration is an eau de parfum so it is a little bit higher on fragrance oils which is nice and also the perfumer behind this one is Quentin Bish, which honestly I've never heard of this perfumer before, so I'm not really familiar with any fragrances that he actually has created in his resume, but he is the nose behind Delina. So with all that information out of the way, let's go and look at the packaging and presentation you will get with this now. So taking a look at this absolute beautiful Parfum Zamali box in this pink kind of colorway. Of course on the top you will have the PDM logo with the two horses, 1743. Delina right there, this is also a 75 ml bottle, and it just says Royal Essence on the bottom as well. Now on the bottom of the box, you will have your barcode and batch code to authenticate your product and see when it was produced. Nothing on the sides, on the top you do have the PDM logo as well. On the back you do have some information and some ingredients, and like I said, this is made in France and it is an Eau de Parfum concentration. Now your bottle will be in the throne once you open it inside here like a nice velvet, very high quality and it is housed very nice and snugly. So yeah, great box presentation. Let's look at the bottle now. Now taking a look at the bottle, I have to admit this is one of the most elegant, beautiful, feminine bottles I've ever seen. Of course you have this kind of outline right here which looks great. On the bottom you do have your sticker with some information and your batch code as well. On the cap, which is by the way very heavy, you do have the Parfum Somalia logo engraved around the whole thing. And on the top, you will find like a pink kind of crystal, which looks great. Nothing inside of the cap, nothing on top of the atomizer. And on the back, you will have Parfum Somali Paris embossed as well. Just all in all, a great presentation when it comes to the bottle. And it will look absolutely incredible on any woman's shelf. The top, you have lychee, rhubarb, bergamot, and nutmeg. In the middle, you have Turkish rose, peony, musk, Petalia and vanilla. And in the base, you have cashmere, cedar, incense, and vetiver. This fragrance would be classified as a fruity floral. So let's go to spray this one and test out the atomizer really quick. Pretty nice distribution, even though it's not pressurized or anything like that, it does spray quite a bit of juice, which is good. So let's remind myself of this elegant feminine opening. This has one of the most gorgeous openings I've ever smelled in my life. You will get greeted with a nice kind of watery, tart, fresh rhubarb note. But alongside the rhubarb, you will actually get that lychee, which does bring a nice kind of exotic fruitiness to the fragrance, which is pretty unique and different than your average fruits that are used in most feminine fragrances like peach and pear and things along those lines. This one is very different. And it's like a really juicy lychee, like you're eating lychees and the juices are just oozing out of the fruit. That is exactly how this one comes across. It's very fresh, very fruity, and it does have a watery kind of freshness to it as well. Now, this is actually a pretty complex fragrance. It does change quite a bit from the opening all the way down to the dry down with the base. But as you make your way into the middle of this fragrance is where you will be greeted with a ton of florals. Now, 
how I would describe it is like a bouquet of roses and peonies all together. And you pretty much bring that bouquet to your nose and you just smell the pink peonies, the pink and red roses, and it's just so, so beautiful. And it's also very photorealistic and extremely natural smelling with the florals, which is what you're gonna be expecting when it comes to niche perfumery, especially at a price at 300 plus dollars. So that is the benefit with obviously paying that higher premium. It's not gonna smell synthetic. Like most of your designer fragrances when you go to like Macy's, Dillard's, etc. This one does come across extremely natural smelling. Now as we make our way into the base, which by the way does take quite a few hours to actually get there because the opening in the middle, you are left with that for the majority of the length of the fragrance. But once you do make your way to the base of the fragrance is where you'll be left with a nice kind of clean white musk alongside a nice warming kind of cozy cashmere note almost like you're wrapped up in a cashmere blanket. That's how it comes across me in the base. And I absolutely love everything about this fragrance from the top, middle, and base. It just never goes dull to me or anything like that or boring. It's always changing and always so intriguing. You also do have like that cedar wood, incense, and vetiver in the base alongside the cashmere. But to be honest with you, I don't really get any smoky incense or anything like that. There might be a faint earthy vetiver in the base of here. It's definitely not a main player by any means. So if you're not a fan of like incense, woody notes, or vetiver, if you're a woman watching this one, to not be afraid of that base at all. The cashmere and the musk is what pretty much is the most prominent notes to me. All in all, a fantastic scent profile that back in 2017, it was very unique and different. But nowadays, a lot of designers actually cloning this fragrance or making their kind of versions of it, such as Carolina Herrera's Very Good Girl, which does contain lychee, rose, and very similar notes to Delina. You also have some Zara fragrances that have been cloning this one as well. So nowadays, unfortunately, it's not the most unique, but I gotta say those designers, which I have smelled and do own, as you see right, right below me, have nothing on the original Delina. There's just something so magical, so luxurious, and just so refined about this fragrance. That they can just not match even if they tried. Now, I honestly look at Delina like the queen of niche perfumery for women. Sort of similar how like Creed Aventus is the king of niche perfumery for men. This one is the queen. Now, I'm a big fan of the House of Parfums de Mali. My favorite one will be Leighton for myself. And this is pretty much their take in house at least to like the Leighton for women. They pretty much go hand in hand. Also, I just love the naming of Delina for the fragrance. There's just something so classy and feminine about it. Like a queen or princess kind of name. And I just love that. So let's touch on the best seasons and occasions to wear Delina. So for seasons, honestly, this works the best for the fall, spring, and somewhat the summer as well, depending on how you wear it and how hot it actually gets during the summertime. But this one is extremely versatile. That's why I think it is probably one of the best signature scents for a woman when it comes to niche fragrances, for sure. This may be not so much the winter time. They do have another offering in the Delina kind of collection called Delina Exclusive, which is by the way, probably my favorite one, in my opinion, because it does have an added note of like pear and oud, which does bring a nice kind of woodiness to the fragrance. It makes it work a little bit better in the colder months. But Delina is more versatile than the exclusive flanker. So yeah, just stick to those three kind of seasons and it will be the best for. So for occasions as well, like I said, it's very versatile. You can dress this one up. You can dress this one down. You can wear it to work. You can wear it to a wedding. You can wear it on a date. It just works pretty much all occasions like running errands. You just spray this one on. You're going to smell like a queen no matter what you're doing throughout the day. So for gender and age. So gender, this is 100% a female targeted fragrance. Honestly, this isn't a fragrance that I would reach for or wear myself. It just is much more on the feminine side of things. I think it would just smell 100 times better on a woman. Like if I was with a woman, I would love if she wore this one or like on a date or something like that because I love the smell, but just not for myself. So yeah, definitely a female targeted fragrance. So for age groups, now this one is a little bit interesting. Most of the time, like when you think of rosy kind of fragrances, you think of like um, mature, like grandma smelling and things like that. But What's nice about this one, even though it does have a ton of roses and peonies and things of that nature, is extremely modern. It smells very modern and up to date. So this one is, I think, more suited for a younger crowd. Probably anyone from like 18 to maybe mid 30s somewhere between there, I think it is best for. But at the end of the day, if you are an older woman, you can definitely pull it off still. But just in my head, this does have a youthful, kind of playful kind of a uh, vibe to it. Now to touch on the performance with Delina, to be honest with you, this surprised me quite a bit, especially from the note breakdown being like a fruity floral. 
This one was above average from my testing. On my skin at least, I got over eight hours of longevity and very solid projection. I gotta be honest with you. The scent Sea Austro that this leaves when you're walking by somebody is absolutely incredible. It will have people following you, asking what you're wearing. Both men and women, there's a something so magical about this fragrance in the air. It actually smells better in the air than on the test shirt for some reason. Sometimes that is the case, and it's definitely the case for this. Did push off of my skin, maybe like a foot and a half, almost two feet for a good couple hours. And then it does kind of come closer to the skin, but you can still pick it up if someone is close to you or walking by somebody. Trust me, they will smell you with this one. I think it's because of that kind of tart freshness of the rhubarb being very uh, fruity and extremely floral with a nice kind of cozy warm base. So yeah, performance is above average with this one. At the end of the day, I absolutely love Delina and honestly think it's one of the best female targeted fragrances in the niche realm of things at least. It's also a very good fragrance if you're a woman watching this and you usually wear like designers and stuff like that, but you want to get into the niche world. I think this is a great gateway fragrance for you because there's nothing extremely daring about it, but it is unique and you can smell that niche quality with it as well too. So yeah, definitely check out Delina. If you're a woman, you want to get into the niche fragrances and you want to smell like a queen and you're looking for a signature scent, this is the fragrance I would recommend you to go for without a doubt. But that's going to do it for my review of Delina. Let me know down below if you actually tried Delina. If you're also a woman watching this one, you want to see me review more women targeted fragrances, let me know about that below as well. And also if you're a guy and you ever wore this before too, let me know that also. I'm very curious about that. But leave a like on the video if you enjoyed it. Subscribe below if you haven't already. And I'll catch all of you in the next upload. Take care, everybody.